All right, this is uh, well, this is number one of our little series I'm going to do. Um, this is just sort of the basic principles of uh, using QGIS and some of the basic things you're going to need for doing your phase one. So to start off with, we're going to look at how you get a uh, Google Maps background into your map. So we start off with something called the Quick Map Services. So to get this, you go up here at the top to Plugins, then you go Manage and Install Plugins is the first one. Uh, so this is what it should look like when it loads up. Now in the search bar here, you search for Quick Map Services. You can also scroll all the way down and be there somewhere. There it is, Quick Map Services. But uh, just to show you, I'm going to type it in the box. So Quick Map. Well, just Quick Map seems to pick it up. It's all one word for some weird reason. Quick Map Services, one word. So when you found it, click on it and then go install plugin down here. It'll grind and whir for a little bit. <coughs> so now it's changed to reinstall plugin and uninstall plugin. That means it's installed. So we can close this. Now it doesn't look any different. That's fine. Go up to here, web and then quick map services and this is some of the ones that come with uh, the software when it's when it's first installed these are the, the basic ones now Google Earth which is the one we're after isn't here is it so we need to add it separately so to add it we go down here to settings and this is the settings menu and along here we go to more services and then get contributed pack Alright, so it's finished downloading. OK, save. Now, if we go here, web, quick map services again, look, we've got a huge long list of all these different things. Um, and the one we're after, obviously, is, is the Google one. So we go on Google, and you can either use hybrid, which has the little name labels, or satellite, which is just the, uh, the plain background. For digitizing, it's better to use the, the satellite view. Um, because the hybrid one, not all of the roads are in the right place, so it often confuses you a little bit. So stick to the satellite one. And there we go. Now, when you're making your map, you want to obviously make sure you're in British National Grid. Um, if you bring in Google Satellite first, it sets it to a different uh, map projection, so not British National Grid. Um, so just to, to finish up, how do we switch it back into British National Grid? We go down here. And if this number down here is anything apart from 27700, then it's not in British National Grid. So 3857, that? that's not British National Grid. So let's click on it. And we want to change it to British National Grid, but to do so, we obviously we can't click on these. We need to tick the box first, enable on the fly transformation. OK. British National Grid. If it's not in there, you'll have to search for it. British National Grid. There it is. Press OK. Now the word looks kind of long and thin, um, but that's fine because the bit that we're interested in is the UK, which is the correct shape and the correct size and in the correct place. So that is fully set up now. You're ready to zoom into the area you're interested in. For us, it's Margham Park and uh, pop your layers in and away you go. All right, so that's how you get the Google Earth background.